everyone. Welcome back to Kids Church at WUMC. It has been an incredible month around here because we've been discovering how creative God is by looking at all the stuff that he created, like us too. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. Now let's see who is here getting creative with us today. <gasps> Hi, Emma. Hi, Avery. What's up, Luke and Hudson? Hi, Peyton. It's good to see you guys. You know, it's pretty great to know that we are made in God's image because, well, God is great. Who remembers our memory verse from this month? Anyone from Psalm 145, verse 3? Let's all say it together, okay? Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Good job, everybody. And it's true. It's impossible for us to understand how truly great God is. You might say he's indescribable. But one way that you can clearly see God's greatness is in his creation. He's created some pretty amazing things like this. Probably don't think much about simple ingredient that you sprinkle on your eggs or your popcorn, but salt plays a huge, huge role in our natural world. Have you ever seen this place called the salt flats? So that might actually even look like sand, right? But it's really salt. Salt flats are created when lakes in the desert dry up. Or have you guys heard of the Dead Sea? Check this picture out. The extreme salt content has caused some really amazing salt formations like all around the world. This one, the Dead Sea is near where Jesus lived when he was here on earth. Check out the people floating in it. Not only that, but there's so much salt in this particular sea that it's impossible for people to sink in the water. Crazy, right? Impossible. Of course, other than those things, um, there's some other cool things that salt can do, but let's be honest. It also just tastes really good. Um, there might not be anything better than a pretzel loaded up with salt, especially if you dip it in mustard. Okay. Last week, we talked about how Jesus was teaching and performing miracles and that people started to hear about Jesus and all the amazing things that he was doing. So every single place that he went, he drew a large crowd. People just wanted to be near him. So let's check out our Bible story today to hear what Jesus has to say about us being salty and bright. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, Chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? 
You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly. Or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do. And they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus... By showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm going to put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Each of us is made in God's image, but also as followers of Jesus, we're supposed to preserve things and keep them fresh and good. That's what salt does. It's a preservative. We're supposed to act in a way that makes the world better. We're supposed to show God's love and goodness to others with our actions and our words. We don't want to lose that saltiness. You guys, there's no limit to God's creativity. The same, the very same God who made the sun and the moon and the stars and everything we can see in the universe and in the land and under the sea also made you. He made you in his image and he made you for a reason. He made you because he wants a relationship with you. He wants to know you and he wants you to know him. And he feels that way about everybody on the planet. He made everyone and he wants a relationship with everyone. Remember, God created everything. There was darkness and then God created light. Just like the stars point to our creator, your life can point other people to God's story too. You can make a difference in the way that you act each day 
okay? You can act in a way that shines his light through you by sharing his love with others. And if you ever wondered where goodness and kindness come from, if anybody ever asks you, you can tell them that it comes from God in you. You guys, God created you to share his story. Let's talk to God right now and ask him to help us do that. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for creating everything we can see. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for creating everyone I know. I know you created us to know you and you want the same thing for everyone in our lives. Everyone we'll ever meet. You want all of us to understand how much you love us. Help us to shine our creativity and our light for you as we share your story. Help us to tell others about you with our words and our actions. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, our activity this week is a craft called Salt of the Earth. You're gonna need cardstock, which is thick paper or regular paper, paper will work or cardboard, cardboard um, maybe an Amazon box. Um, but if it's light colored, it's gonna be the best. You're gonna need white glue, not a glue stick, table salt, a baking dish or a plastic container big enough for you for, to hold your paper, liquid watercolor paint, and you can make this uh, yourself. I have a little video to show you how. Brushes and maybe um, something to cover the table. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna need to show a little self-control as you use your glue. Make sure that the nozzles are open on your glue just enough for you to have it flow freely, but not that it like just blobs out in a big glob. So you're going to draw with the glue on your paper, squeezing it over your paper, okay? You can draw squigglies and hearts and rainbows and flowers and animals and sun and moon and stars in the universe, whatever inspires you, okay? Then you're gonna put that in the container. Then you're going to sprinkle salt all over the glue. Make sure it covers the glue completely. When Jesus said we are the salt of the earth, he meant that just like salt can make things taste better, we can make life better. We can make it better by spreading God's love to the people around us. Okay, now for the fun part. You're gonna gently dip, okay? First, shake off the excess salt a little bit, all right? Then you're going to take your brush and dip it into some of the liquid watercolor and then you're gonna gently touch that over the salt on your glue design. Isn't that amazing? The salt soaked up the color and spread it. That's like when Jesus said that you guys are the salt of the earth and just like salt soaks up that color, God wants us to soak up his love and spread it to the world around us. Because when we spread God's love, we're sharing his story. It might be a good idea to actually have particular brushes in the different colors just to avoid the colors mixing, all right? But I hope you guys have a really fun time with that and show me uh, your creations. Send them to me, okay? What's something that you're good at? You can use that to share God's story with somebody else. Are you good at reading out loud? Maybe you could read to a younger child, maybe even record it and send it to somebody. Do you like um, drawing pictures or doing other art projects? Could you create something this week and then drop that off at somebody else's house? That's sharing God's love. I really like to buy things for other people. Um, if I see something that reminds me of somebody, I in my, like a friend or a family, I like to get it and surprise them with it. God created you to share his story. So when you follow Jesus by loving God and loving others, your life can share his story in everything that you say and do. So this week, I want you to remember, God created you to share his story. You guys, God made you in his image. He made you good at something 
lots of things probably. So whatever your talent is, whatever you're good at, whatever you like to do, use it. Give it everything you've got. That's a great way that you can honor God. Because see, God made us to share his story with our words and our actions in all kinds of creative ways. He wants everyone to know the amazing story of how much he loves us. So much so that he sent his son, Jesus, to be our savior. It's the greatest story ever, and he really wants us to share it. God created you to share his story. And we learned today that we can be salt and light. So think about it. What does it look like for you to be salt and light? Remember, we show God's love with our actions, not just our words. And there's no limits to the way that you can share his love with other people. You can use the creativity that he has given you to love others and give them a little glimpse of how good he is. So have a great week being salty and bright. And until you see me again, peace and love.